Alright, so this matchup, uh, I'm pretty sure Viz just has to hit him with, uh, Nairs and back airs. And then can finish off with fairs. Or he could string a bunch of up airs. And Gary just has to back air. So, I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be much grounded, uh, yeah, basically none of these players are probably going to be attacking each other on the ground. Except to maybe kill each other. Or grab, I don't know. But, uh, these two characters, but, uh, Biss and Jerry already trading hits. Really close game. I don't even know what to do if, uh, the characters are off stage. I guess Puff has an easier time edge guarding uh, Luigi. But besides that, like, we just has to catch him with a uh, smash or something. I don't know. Edge guard situation. But uh, Jerry lets him back on the stage. Hits him off again. Yeah. I guess Viz can just keep. I guess Viz can just aerial for like ever, and will eventually kill Jigglypuff. Oh, uh, but Viz seems like he's somewhat fishing. He's definitely throwing out hitboxes as Puff is losing space. But Jerry knows. Jerry's waiting. He's a patient man. But this catches him. That up smash. get a grab it's like literally impossible to combo off that and basically you just have to wait until they reach the ground to like do something. So this is definitely going to be a long battle but Jerry knowing the situation that Luigi's in takes advantage of that with a few back airs. This is down stock. Probably about who's gonna be the, uh, more patient. Just grab down throws. Pretty sure he was trying to see if he was, if uh, Puff was gonna be on the top, uh, on the left platform, but no avail. Mega catches, not gonna kill yet. Just going back to center. Not sure if he's giving Puff a bit too much space, but nonetheless, he catches Puff with a wave dash, up smash. Oh no. I think this was just trying to air dodge back up on stage, but I think he catches the lip of Battlefield. This gets the grab, but he has. Tough battle ahead, dude. He just can't get trades. He gets trades and he's just losing. Meanwhile, Jerry playing so patient, crouching, spacing out this wall of pain. Trades? But no conversion from either player. So tough and yeah, yeah. this just to try to get it. Oh he catches him for late nair. Super late nair. 
can't make one job. And I'll smash. Not killing this yet. Not killing this Luigi. Tough Luigi out here. Fair catches. Jerry kind of looked, uh, like, surprised when that happened, but, oh no, and just that, just like that, Jerry takes game one. Jerry's wall of pain is a feat to break from this. Going to Yoshi's small stage, people die faster. Sure, if Yoshi's makes it a lot easier for Luigi to uh, basically throw out hitboxes and make his own wall of pain if he has center stage, but definitely makes it a lot easier for Luigi to uh, convert. I think. I don't know. It's honestly just another battle of attrition. Good awareness by this. Knowing that Jerry was gonna fall back, he immediately uh, goes straight to uh, the left platform and just fares the moment uh, Jerry or Dodge. Jerry just had to regrab ledge just to get that invincibility back so he doesn't get caught by the upbeat. But this has the percent lead. He could take his time with this. And it seems like he is. Nice, good catch by this. I'll smashing after he power shields that uh arrow. Down there, kills. Kills Jerry. Just up a stock. Jerry now on the aggressive, trying to get the hits, and he's getting the hits, but he's not getting the kill. Not yet. That's a situation, nice. Catches this, this with the side B ending lag, the back air, and then once this is off stage, commits to another back air, taking that stock. Not taking the spot. Oh, ah. Down there, not taking the first hit, but. Oh, I'm a mess. Down there, taking Puff to the last stock. And Jerry has a. Jerry's having some trouble. He's having trouble uh, avoiding these trades. Oh, yeah, and up here. Could have uh, made something out of that, but. This answer that answers back from there. Another trade. <laughs> Both players running away from each other. There. situation for both these players but Jerry with the percent deficit although rest is sort of on the table if Jerry can catch it I don't know how he can catch rest against Luigi though it's kind of weird maybe he has to I don't know down there wow kills this ties it up 1-1
Yoshi story, a good pick for this. Jerry, think of stage selection, hovering his uh, cursor on Dreamland or FD. Thinking about Dreamland, he's definitely thinking about it, but instead we're going to FD on game three. Yeah. Barry probably having some sort of thought about the platforms uh, scoring him over against Luigi. I don't know. But again, FD has more space, so definitely lets Jerry uh, run around much in the air. But this winning uh, the trade war. Nice. This sees the get up. Uh, or the, the tournament winner and catches it fair. This just allowing Puff to get some space so that he can just uh, threaten that with more trades. Seems like Jerry doesn't necessarily have a good answer uh, when he's not in the lead. Uh, his play style is very defensive, and I don't know if uh, his offensive play style is going to help him uh, bring it back. Just like that, Puff's already at 86%. One stock less than this. Edgeguard situation, Jerry could probably re grab ledge. Um, that would have been a dead disc. But instead, this is still living, although barely. Up air almost killed him. Oh wow. This being a bit cheesy using a, using an air hitbox that's like using like the reverse nair hitbox poking Jigglepuff shield to kill. But uh, this will take uh, that uh, death any day since uh, he's like super high percent and he's on the one stock lead. That's crazy. I want to play by this. Barry's going to play by this. Here comes Luigi's wall of pain. Back here. Oh, with the grab to fair. Oh, okay. I guess mid percent. That's a really good uh, conversion. I mean, it's not as much percent as. Uh, but for Puff, like, that, every percent means a lot. Puff already at the kill percent. Pressure. Double back here. First back here doesn't connect, but second one does. Down B to maybe recharge, or just make sure he has a down B charge. Oh wow, back air. Makes Puff hit the ledge. It makes him bounce back. Jerry on his last stock. Not looking too great for Jerry right now. Definitely needs clutch plays and clutch conversions to take this. And this might be the start. Back air up air, or four there up air. Drill up smash, takes the stock. Closes the lead down to a one stop. Now Jerry is the type of player that doesn't rest as much, but he does rest. But I think he only rests... Uh, he's not as confident uh, resting as uh, most Puff Nudes. As again, he recently... well not necessarily recently, but has picked up Puff. Uh, within the past six months. Or four, I'm not sure. I lost track. Wave dash t uh, forward tilt. Good spacing option by this. Off stage situation for Jerry. But uh, this Sora lets him back on stage. Jerry answers with a forward smash. Wow, misfire. Keeps him alive so that Jerry can't get punished. One out of eight, by the way. 
But uh, 100% is what Luigi means. If you're a new viewer, I'm sorry, that's not true. So I actually just went out of it. This taking his time. Five minutes into the match. Jab, down smash, to counteract, crouch canceling. Puff is at death percent. Of course Puff has to do the crouch cancel. Doesn't want to get hit by a straight hit. Joy grab ledge. Can Mike much out of that. Escapes from jumping up, but the up smash. Catches Jerry. This wins game three. Up 2-1 against Jerry. Jerry's thinking he might go to Dreamland now. Yeah. Ready? FD was not the right pick in his mind, I guess. He'll try out Dreamland. And try to make sure this game goes to game 5. Whereas Viss is just trying to end it. If I can move on. On this July 4th holiday. I'm not sure if up smash was the right choice. Maybe he could. I guess if he forward smash, uh, this could have the sweet spot of the up B, making it a lot difficult for uh, up to time it. Up smash might have been more of a guarantee, or it could have been a missing but... Jerry with the lead, taking his time. Just taking his time with this edge guard. Oh, Viz not having another up B charge leaning in, or down B charge leaning to his demise. There of the lead, now taking his time. This is his playstyle. This is his advantage. This is what he's really good at. And he's definitely showing it right here. Like, no flame to Jerry. Like... This, like, as a competitive player, like, this is... This is optimal. Cause like, one, one, one straight hit, and Jerry's basically dead. So Jerry's just trying to build a percent as much as he can. This is just trying to predict his uh, movement options while trying to throw out safe uh, safe hitboxes so that if they don't hit, then this can react to whatever Jerry's trying to counter it with. But Jerry doing a good job walling out this, not letting him get that opportunity. Oh, this late with the up smash, Jerry punishes. Is having a tough time trying to close the stock out. Oh, slow get up, Jerry punishes, back to the ledge, this goes. Oh, catches with the Nair. Nair is just enough to kill. This taking a small side of relief. But at 126%, kind of tough. Jerry looking focused. Wow! Down smash just sent him downwards. Probably caught the down, like the bottom of the hitbox. I think Jerry sort of knows some of the timings. Of what, well, not the timings, but per se, but what hiss is, this is gonna throw out, and then the moment this throws out that set of moves, he's just, he just answers back. Probably sort of a mini download from the past uh, past games, but then again, Jerry is in the lead, so honestly, he's just spacing, uh, spacing uh, this out right now with uh, hitboxes. Also, thank you, Gekis, with the Twitch Prime. Really appreciate it, man. You a homie.
about to be reaching the five minute mark anytime soon. But this time, Jerry with the lead. This finally takes Jerry's second stock with a four there. He's playing a little bit farther back this time, but in a sticky situation. This shouldn't be. This does not want to be uh, close to the ledge, especially at this percent. He definitely needs to keep the stock as long as possible and build as much uh, percent on buff. Ooh, almost an unsafe uh, projectile. A bit too close for comfort there. This is just a bit with the down there. If he caught Puff with the down there, that was a good situation for Viz because he can just edge guard with fairs. This down to his last stop. Jerry definitely trying to make this into a game 5. But Viz is not thinking about his counter pick right now. He's definitely trying, he's definitely trying to put himself back in the game. Stuck on the ledge, Fizz catches with an up air. I haven't seen that in a bit. Oh, overshoots the fair. Back towards uh, the edge of the stage. Oh, miss inputs a wave dash. And that might that miss input might be it for this. Oh, but Jerry can't edge guard. Couldn't edge guard that up yet. I think he was in a weird situation. Oh wow. Fizz trying to go with a Hail Mary. With the short weekend, but Jerry answers back for rest. And we're going to game five. This now thinking of his counter pick. Pokemon. Ready? Go! Already having Jerry at the edge. Ledge. But we're back to center stage neutral. Just trying to catch one of them pressing uh, the forward button a bit too much. Good catch. Like this with the down air. Up with the lead, I think this is uh, definitely understanding a, understanding a bit of uh, Jerry's uh, movement patterns when he is about to touch the ground and is able to capitalize with, ups, with some up smashes and down smashes. This gets a misfire, comes back on stage safely. Oh, a little bit short of the down smash. Very Trades. Fair with an up smash. This in the lead, trying to deal his uh, form of oppression. Starts with a down smash. Like there, like this caught him landing. He's an up smash. He's able to punish his uh, Jerry, Jerry as he lands, or as he gets a little bit close to the ground per se. He catches Jerry.
Jerry playing a bit more safer, but this catching on the quality with Luigi's movement options. That wave dash tilt is wave dash forward tilt is a very good uh Well it's not very good, it's like very surprising. Making Jerry trying to reconsider how far he has to be to avoid something like that. And he catch gets caught with that again. Four minutes into the match. This takes the second stock. Or set Jerry's second stock. It's fair. Knowing that Jerry was going to uh, try the aerial this, but this throws an aerial before he can do anything. Jerry's struggling to get in close enough for, uh, to this so he, uh, Jerry can take this stock. Jerry at death percent. Getting a bit scary for Jerry now. Uh, Jerry just in time to catch this up smashing with the back air. And I think this is dead off this. Oh no! Jerry messes up his edge guard. Now he's in the sticky situation. With the back air. Oh, trades. Trades four there with up air. What the uh, uh, Some aerial with up air. Jerry tying up the stocks, but. He. I'll smash for kill. Just like that, Jerry. Jerry was just tied on stocks, and now he's down a stock. Down to his last stock here in game five of Pokemon. And. Jerry, throughout this game, hasn't had an answer to a lead. Bad opportunity for a rest, knowing that the law, that the fire transformation has the tree blocking that direction, making this approach much safer. This uh, answers back with a Shuriken. And now Jerry is getting closer and closer to danger as an up smash kills. And this takes. Winner semis moving on to finals where he will face Polish in the best of five. Here at Xanadu Games 257.